Hi guys, how are you? Today we're in Isaiah 54, verse 13. All your sons will be taught by the Lord. And great will be your children's peace. All your sons will be taught by the Lord. And great will be your children's peace. I thank you, Father, for this day. And I want to say it again. I thank you, Father, for this day. I thank you for what you're doing, for what you're up to. I want to be a part of it. Holy Spirit, help me, help us to appreciate this day. And not take it for granted. Help us, Holy Spirit, to go after Jesus' plan. To go after his lessons. To have that desire to hear from him, to learn from him, to follow his steps. I give you all the glory and all the honor, God. You are my God. And I love you. Holy Spirit, lead me. I cannot connect to God without you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. It's a beautiful, foggy day. And where I'm at right now um, is by a lake, and there's a bunch of people trying kayaks, I think. You know, people get up in the morning and they plan out their day. What can I do to... Uh, Make it a fun day, even when they have to go to work. After get off, after they get off from work, what can I do to have fun? A lot of us wake up worst. A lot of us wake up in a bad condition, and they end up their day in a worst condition. Because their plans didn't work out. Maybe what they thought it would be fun, it wasn't fun. But when you wake up in the morning. And you follow the creator of the universe. When you wake up in the morning. And you follow your creator. The one that knows you very well. The one that knows what you really love. And you allowed him to lead you. You allowed him to teach you what you need to know. You experience peace. And you stop wasting time trying to do things that you think are the best for you. But God. My teacher. My shepherd. Jesus. We need to learn how to appreciate each day. We take it for granted. I used to take it for granted. And even sometimes when I wake up and I say, Oh my gosh, I got all these, thi all these things to do and I got to get this done. I need to stop myself and say, Wait a minute. None of that matters. None of that will be effective. 
if I don't go after my creator first. And if I don't let him lead you, lead me every single step of my day. Because I want to know what he's up to. Because if I have to go to the store and do groceries, he may have something in mind, and I know he does. Because he's, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts, and his plans are better. So if there's someone that is walking by me, and I'm so involved in what I have to do, and I miss that opportunity, but God help us. In this new year, to stop ourselves and to go after what you're teaching us. Because if you're teaching us, it's for a reason. Because if you're teaching us, then that's something that is going to help me for the day. Maybe for the next day. I thank you, Father. For your lessons. I thank you, Father, for your discipline. I thank you, Father, for your order. I thank you, Father, for your perfect plan. Because I am experiencing peace. I know my family is experiencing peace. I know that I am your vessel. And because I am your vessel, living water should be coming out. Peace should be coming out. Joy should be coming out. Even in our crazy day. But if we're set. On what you're going to teach us. We would have an awesome day. People would have an awesome day. Because we're just sharing you. Thank you Father. Holy Spirit. Help us to stay in that mind. That it will be a waste of a day. If we don't set our hearts to God. In Jesus Christ's name, this is your day, God. Do as you please. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys.